Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna create this ripple animation in After Effects. Create a new composition, make it square pixel and rename this main comp. Hit OK. Create a new solid, choose a color for the solid and rename this background. Hit OK. We're gonna lock this solid and grab this ellipse tool with no stroke with fill of black. Draw an ellipse. Go to layer transform and center anchor point and rename this to circle hit ok hit p to bring up the position and we're going to animate this so go to one second set a keyframe for the position go to the first frame and move it away from the frame grab this rectangle tool with a black fill and draw a box something like this selecting on the circle layer hit u on the keyboard select all the keyframes go to the graph editor and change the graph to like this all right, so let's duplicate this circle, Control D to duplicate it, and scale it down to 80% and offset the timing of this. All right, once you have that, select all the layers, right click and pre-compose it and rename it, drop, hit OK. And we're gonna go to the effects and presets and type in Gaussian Blur. Drag and drop it on that layer. And we're gonna search for Simple Choker and drag and drop it on top of that. So increase the blurness to around 70%. Increase the Simple Choker until the blur effect is gone. So you have a water drop like this. All right, without selecting any layers in the timeline, grab the pen tool with a fill of black and draw a shape. So somewhere here, draw a shape like this for the mask and we're going to rename this to mask and change this drop layer to alpha inverted map. Alright, let's go ahead and create the ripple effect. Go and select this ellipse tool and draw an ellipse and make sure you turn off the fill and you need only the stroke of black color, maybe around 10 pixel. S on the keyboard, so right about here, we want this at zero, set a keyframe. From there, the ripple starts around two second. Two second, you can scale it to 100. All right, so select all the keyframes, F9 for easy ease. Go to the graph, and we're gonna tweak it to something like this. And we're gonna rename this layer to waves. Okay, so all right, let's collapse this wave. Go to add and add a repeater. Collapse this repeater and transform repeater. So there are two transform. The transform for the repeater and a transform for the shape. So you have to select this transform repeater, collapse this, and we're gonna set this position to zero so that we have the exact same position like the, the main shape. So we have that and we're gonna work on the scale so if I scale it down you can see that uh, you have three copies here you can increase it to four or five whatever you want so I'll stick with three and we're gonna animate this scale here all right so maybe at around here I'm gonna stick it to 50 set a keyframe and go to the last keyframe here and set this and increase this to maybe around 87 or something like that. U on the keyboard to bring up only the keyframes and realign these keyframes. Select all the keyframes, F9, and we're gonna make the graph like we did before. All right, once you're done with that, let's go ahead and animate the width, the stroke width of this, all right? So go to stroke and we're gonna animate this stroke width. So maybe around here, set a keyframe, go a few frames maybe bring it back a little bit and set this to zero and that will disappear select all the keyframes f9 for easy ease all right once you are done with that we're gonna go again inside the repeater so where's the repeater and here it is and we're gonna animate this y value so that you have some sort of ripple going on here all right so maybe here go to this keyframe and set a keyframe for this position it was at zero and move a few frames and move it down a little bit like this 
and after a few frames go and move it back up and back down a little bit and back up you just have to repeat the same process again and again so move it back down something like that all right select all the keyframes f9 for easy ease okay that is looking very nice so let's go ahead and create the splash animation let's grab the pen tool with no fill and stroke of about five pixel and let's go and draw a line somewhere here and something like that all right so go and rename this to splash and collapse this go to contents go to shape go to go to stroke and change this line cap to round cap so the difference between the line cap and the round cap is if you zoom it here it was a butt cap so it was flat so we don't want that so change it to round cap all right so go and add a trim path to this trim path and we're going to animate the trim path here maybe around here we want the trim path to be at zero and set a keyframe for the start and end go few frames ahead maybe around two second and increase these and increase these as well so select the start keyframe and offset the timing here okay so select all the keyframes hit f9 go to the graph and tweak the graph to something like before let's go ahead and add a repeater for this as well and add a repeater and you have the repeater somewhere down here collapse this right now you have three copies because you have three so i'm going to increase it to five and offset this to a negative three inside this transform repeater uncheck this scale and i'm going to set this to negative 100 and the y values to 90 and change this position to 12 and this y position to 6 so what you'll be having is this so grab this ellipse tool with no stroke and a fill of black color around here draw an ellipse again so let me animate this p set a keyframe and go to two second and move it up and at three second this is going to come down so copy this keyframe cop Control c Control v to paste it select all the keyframes f9 go to the graph and change the graph to something like what i'm doing here so once you're done with that you can duplicate this Control d and offset the timing and and change the scale to a 90 percent and duplicate another copy and offset the timing of this and change it to 80% what you'll be having is this select all these layers so right click pre-compose it duplicate this mask Control D to duplicate it and move it just above the pre-comp and change this to all format inverted like that add this simple choker to this layer and Gaussian blur and increase the Gaussian blur and this simple choker as well so the last and final thing I did was create a new adjustment layer and move it just below the splash turbulent displays drag and drop it here the turbulent amount should be zero set a keyframe and size to maybe 50 and once this comes up we're gonna increase it to maybe 10 that is how easy it is to create a ripple animation. I hope you like this video. Make sure to watch this video for more After Effects tutorials. This is Motion Designer and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.